Start by placing a small amount of zap gap in the middle of the hook shank. Bring in a piece of 0.2 lead wire and throw down enough wraps to cover about the middle third of the hook shank. Zap a gap will hold that securely in place for us. You can break off the excess wire, crimp down the ends, and bring in your tying thread. For this color scheme for the hips hell crawl, I'm going to be doing it in black. I'm using black 6 aught thread. I'm not worried too much about throwing down a bunch of thread over the top of the lead wire, just because that zap a gap is going to hold that in place for me. So I'm going to let my thread hang about right there behind the wraps of the lead wire. Now I'm going to bring in the marabou for the tail. I want the marabou to be about the length of the hook shank. And very simply I'm going to tie that in and wrap back to the bend of the hook. After I have that secured, I'm going to bring in approximately 20 strands of flashaboo. And the flashaboo that I'm using here is a black holographic. It wants to be about the length of the tail here. And then I want to have enough in front that I'm, I'll be able to actually pull this down over the finished fly. For the legs in the back here, I'm using small black sexy floss. And I want these to split over the back end of the fly, so I'm going to drape this over the string. I'm going to pull it down onto the hook shank and very simply just get a couple wraps on there. And from there, I can just grab them, splay them out to the sides like I want them to be, secure them with a couple wraps. I'll trim those to the length of the tail once I've pulled the flash boo out of the way. Once I have that in, I'm bringing in my chenille. And tie that in off to the side. Lay that back. Excess can just kind of hang over here off the back of your vise. I'm going to return the thread to the middle of the hook shank. And at that point, I'm going to bring in two more strands of the black sexy floss. I'm going to tie in two strands on the far side, two strands on the near side. I want these to be about the length uh, of the hook shank and the tail combined, about that length. I catch them here, throw down a few wraps. Cut them about right in there. Bring them over to the near side of the hook shank and repeat that same process. From here, I only have a couple steps left. I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to wrap it forward right up behind the eye of the hook. Let that hang there. And very simply, I'm going to work it forward here. You can just kind of pull up on those rubber legs on the side to get them out of the way there as I wrap. Those rear ones drop and you can use the pressure of the chenille just to kind of adjust those rubber legs to where you want them to sit pull those front ones up same thing here in front once i have that wrap down i can adjust those legs just kind of wiggle them out to the sides where you want them to be one or two more wraps and then secure that chenille right behind the eye of the hook Now I'm going to reach back with the leftover overhanging flash boo that I have on the back. I'm going to pull it up and over the body of the fly. I'm going to catch it and secure it with just a couple of wraps. You can kind of pull up on the excess flash there. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to fold it rearward back toward the back of the hook. I'm going to wrap over the top of it there. Come in with my scissors and I'm going to take this little bit of excess here. I'm 
going to snip it off so there's just a little bit left. A little bit of a kick back there. I'll take a look at these rear legs that I have. Snip them with the length of the tail. And come in and whip finish it and I'm done. This has been a great warm water pattern for me. I've got everything from pike to bass to perch to bluegill. Lots of different color combinations. You can downsize it all the way down to size 12s, all the way up to size 6s, depending on what you're chasing and uh, what your goal is and what color combinations you think would work best on the waters that you fish.